Hello, welcome to my channel, Small Optics. My name is Jason. Uh, now, before I get started uh, with today's video, uh, I just want to do a quick shout out to, oh, forgive me for the pronunciation here, uh, Mario's, Mario's Dutch. I shall put um, your logo up here, uh, this chap anyway. Um, he uh, very kindly got in touch with me and wanted to set a Facebook group up. Um, so, yeah, yeah, which is, you know, which is great of him. Uh, so what I'll do, I'll leave a link in, uh, in the description if you want to come along and maybe join that group. Um, because, you know, you can ask questions. Um, if I don't know the answers and we get enough members on there, <coughs> excuse me, uh, then obviously somebody else will, I'm sure, will, will, will know the answer. And maybe, you know, just share ideas and maybe give me, you know, what you might want to see on the channel. Um, uh, give me some ideas of what you might want to see, like. So, like I say, thanks again to Maria's Dutch. I, sh I, did, I sh ought to stop uh, trying to pronounce your name, didn't I? And just leave uh, <laughs> leave your logo up. Uh, yeah, so thanks, uh, thanks again to this chap. And, uh, and maybe uh, I'll see you over there on Facebook. Okay, on with the video. Now, sometimes you come across little uh, tips and tricks, and uh, some of them are all right, but I urge you, if you've come stumble across this video, to try this next tip out, because even if you're a seasoned astronomer and you've never heard of this, uh, for visual astronomy, this one's, this one's a beauty. Okay, so I'll... <laughs> How could a plant pot possibly help us in astronomy? Um, well, you, you've got to think of, um, when, when we're doing visual astronomy, it's all about contrast, okay? And one of the biggest bugbears is light pollution, okay? Light pollution is gonna destroy contrast. And it's not just the sky glow uh, that we've got to be concerned about. You also got, need to think about localized light pollution, um, like such as when you. The, 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 what I mean by localized is when you're at the eyepiece, it's any stray light that may be around you, any street lights. Uh, I mean, don't think that that street lamp that you can see thirty yards uh, over in you know the few streets away isn't affecting your views because it is. Now, of course, there are ways of combating this. I mean, uh, what I usually do is I, um, I, I can hang a blanket up, a thick blanket, and that'll block any stray light that comes by. Uh, but, you know, that's not always convenient for everybody. And this little, uh, little hack, uh, it, it, it's all that in one, okay? So uh, let, let me just explain a little bit about, uh, just, just quickly uh, explain what contrast is, okay, and how it's going to improve. Say, for instance, you're looking at this star cluster, okay, and you're surrounded by, um, you know, a street lamp, uh, somebody's outside light, uh, cause, which I suffer from, somebody across here has, has one of those security lights, you know, those big round ones, and they're right bright, and they, you know, the, it's on all night, so it's, uh, I am going to put a fence up at the bottom of the garden, eventually. Okay, so if all this stray light's coming in from all handles, this is the sort of view that you're going to get in the eyepiece, okay? And it's this localised light pollution that causes, is, or one of the causes, of uh, bad contrast. Now, with this little device, using this, it's going to improve it something more like this. Now, all right, this may be a little bit exaggerated, but I just want to, you know, kind of explain to you if you're not quite sure what I'm talking about, about the difference in contrast. And when it's, when we're looking for faint fuzzies like the Messier catalogue, you know, there's a lot of those are quite hard to see. And if you've the, this kind of light pollution coming in, there's no chance you're gonna, uh, you're gonna get to okay, see Okay, let's just talk a little bit how you've got to prepare this thing. And it's not difficult, really. All you're going to need is a black plant pot, something like this. Now, this is, uh, oh, two minutes. Getting old, you know. Let's have a look. 24 centimeters. Nine inch, okay, so that's a 24 centimeter nine inch pot, something like that. Now, this has got to be big enough to fit like your face into it, all right? You're going to look a little bit like uh, your pet that's just uh, <laughs> come back from a visit from the vets, okay? Now, if I can fit, fit my big fat face in a nine inch uh, plant pot, then I'm sure most of you can, okay? And the other thing you may have spotted is I've just simply 
cut off the bottom. Now, the way you use this, okay, now bear with me seriously because you need to try this, uh, especially if you like me and you do like um, going for some of those uh, faint fuzzies, the Messier catalog. This really does help. Okay, um, the way, let's just twist this round a little bit so uh, I can get to the eyepiece, but I probably should have done this before, there we go. Okay, so imagine we're at the eyepiece now. All we have to do is place a face, okay, into this, like this, okay. Now, obviously, this is going to be a bit longer because there's going to be an eyepiece in there. So you get your face in there and you actually go up to the eyepiece this way. Sorry if the sound sounded a bit funny there. Now, it may look a little bit crazy, <laughs> okay, but this is probably... Um, one of those, like I say, tips or hacks that once you've tried it, you'll go, wow, you really will. It is a wow difference. Um, now, I'm not claiming that this is mine, my idea in any, in any uh, shape or form. Um, I, I've come across this years ago. Um, I, uh, I, I was reading a book I'd hired from the library in the uh, early 80s, yeah, as far back as that. And... Uh, it, there was something similar to this in there and I think they constructed it out of cardboard or something like that and um, I saw a video on YouTube of somebody kind of claiming that they've come up with something and I went oh wow you know it was something again similar to this and they'd you know got this like I think they were claiming it with their idea but I can assure you this little idea has been around for years the plant pot idea i will i've never known anybody do a plant pot and uh, i just happened to like i say see this video and i thought a plant pot would be perfect okay so i did mention you cut the bottom off did i or did i have too busy waffling i'm probably too busy waffling on there <laughs> yeah just uh, carefully cut the bottom off okay that's all you need to do now a, a quick word of warning if you are going to try this method which i really hope you do i mean i strongly advise you do try this method um just get used to actually, you know, uh, have a few practice runs, if you know what I'm saying. Because usually, uh, when we go up to the uh, eyepiece, you usually kind of kind of have your hand near there. You're not quite touching the telescope, but that gives you a bit of a guidance to where the eyepiece is, you know, when you're in darkness. Uh, well, with this, you're kind of just... <laughs> risking an eyepiece coming and poking you in the eye okay so just go up nice and steady you know put your face in there and and approach the eyepiece nice and steady because i don't want anybody saying oh great tip jay but you know <laughs> i've now got a black eye <laughs> well that about wraps it up for another video please i urge you to try this um it do give it a go i know it looks a bit crazy and uh, sounds a bit crazy but uh, once you do try it you'll uh, you, you'll, you'll see what i'm talking about um and, and don't forget by the way to uh, you know uh, come and join us on the group there may not be a, i don't think we've got any members at the minute yet on there um, because it's still quite new and this is the first time I've really advertised it so uh, yeah hopefully I'll see you over there in the meantime take great care of yourselves and I will see you on the next one bye for now